hello guys in this video i am presenting you yet another obliterated model which is called as neural daredevil 8 billion this model shows its personality through this title image how cool is that let me give you a quick overview of this model and then we will play around with it locally on our system this model neural daredevil has been created by maxim blabon who is a very um, enthusiastic a researcher and i have interviewed him for the channel if you're interested just search with his name this model has been created by him and it is a dpo fine tune of daredevil 8 obliterated dpo fine tune means that it has been fine tuned with direct preference optimization it is very important to know what exactly is dpo before we move forward so let me try to explain it in a very very high level and simple language i already have done detailed videos on this by the way but let me try to explain it in very simple words look at this diagram on the left hand side we have reinforcement learning from human feedback rlhf or reinforcement learning from human feedback or proximal policy optimization which is called as ppo and now this dpo these are all fine tuning techniques fine tuning means that once a pre-trained model is there, which has been trained on a general data, we train that model further on some specific data set on specific domain. And this RLHF, PPO, DPO, these are all fine tuning techniques. On the left hand side, we have this RLHF, which has been used for a long time. And this is a framework where a reward model is trained to approximate human feedback and this reward model is then used to optimize the fine-tuned models policy using the proximal policy optimization or ppo this whole ppo revolves around making smaller incremental updates to the policy as larger updates can lead to instability or suboptimal solutions this technique is uh, bit unstable because of loss diverges difficult to reproduce and that is where uh, direct preference optimization or dpo comes into play dpo primarily simplifies this whole thing it uses two models the trained model which or the policy model and a copy of it called as the reference model during training the goal is to make sure the trained model outputs higher probabilities or preferred answer as you can see on your screen than the reference model so this is where dpo uh, is being used very very widely these days and now there are even more variants and optimizations of dpo like orpo and i have done various others please search the channel okay so now you know what this model is so this model um, dare, the neural daredevil is a dpo fine tune of the daredevil 8 and it has been trained on one epoch of orpo dpo mix 40k the dpo fine tuned successfully recovers the performance loss due to the obliteration process making it an excellent uncensored model and that is the key it is a totally uncensored model very shameless extremely awesome for the role play so if you want to have a sort of a ai girlfriend in your private setting uh, this is the model for you just go with it and this will do everything for you refusal rate is quite low so that is what this model is let's try it out on my lm studio and then we will go from there now this is for totally educational purposes don't take it any other way this is just for fun and giggles so first up let's launch lm studio this is the tool which i'm going to use to install this model let me make this screen a bit bigger if you don't know what lm studio is i already have done lots of videos on it so please search the channel so launch lm studio on the home page type neural data table and Labon has already done the GGUF quantization in Q8, which is quite good. I already have downloaded it to save the time. And then if you click on this folder icon, you will see that the size is just 8.54. Let's click on these three dots and load the model by clicking on this middle. And you can keep an eye on the resource usage on the top left. Let's wait for it to load. That's loaded uh, because um, Okay, so let me just select the Llama 3 V2 preset for it and then let me offload all the layers to GPU. So I'm just offloading all the layers to GPU on the right hand side. There you go. And let's reload the model. I know this might not be appearing as good on your screen, but I'm using this Linux system, which is um, 
uh, you know my screen is a bit smaller here okay so now this is it now before i proceed further let me tell you that my system specs so i am using this ubuntu 22.04 system where i have one gpu card of <clears throat> 48 gb vram nvidia rtx 6000 this has been sponsored very generously by our good friends at mast compute if you are looking to rent a cheaper affordable gpu then i will drop the link in video description to best compute and i will also put in a discount coupon of 50 percent discount you will get if you use that coupon highly recommended very affordable of sublime quality so please do check it out and again <clears throat> huge shout out to them for providing this infrastructure let's go back to my lm studio and this is our model ready to serve us so let's try to get a role play out of it okay so the role which i want this model to play is that i want to test it um i'm just going to okay so i wanted to see if it can create a prompt for me so first let me uh, and press enter there you go so it has created the prompt now i'm going to use the same prompt with this model so if you go above let me read it again so i want to test a model for role play create a prompt which will ask model to become a recently separated man looking for love and then model has created this prompt that you are a 32 year old man named alex and that's all that stuff so let me copy it and then ask it from the model so i'm just remove this and i'm going to remove this quotes so the prompt is that you are a 32 year old man named alex who recently went through a painful divorce after five years of marriage you're now living in a cozy one bedroom apartment in the city working as a graphic designer maybe i'll just say sydney city working as a graphic designer at a small firm the loneliness has been suffocating and you have started to wonder if you'll ever find love again you scroll through dating apps attend social gatherings but nothing seems to be clicking your heart still like is from the memories of your ex-wife but you're determined to move forward and rediscover what it means to fall in love okay write a journal entry expressing your hopes fear and desires to find new romance maybe i'm just not going to do the journal entry a journal entry okay you don't want any relationship at the moment but just love let's see what model does now I want you to focus on the wordplay and the way it weaves the whole story. That is what I really like about this daredevil. You see, now look at this. The city streets seem to echo with my footsteps. These days, a constant reminder that I'm alone. How good is that? It's been th three months since the divorce, and I thought by now the sharp edges of loneliness would have dulled a bit, but no, they're still cut deep. I, I have lost count of how many coffee dates ended in awkward silence or polite conversations that went nowhere. The dating apps are like a mixed bag. I mean, I could read it, but I don't want to, you know, spend all the time there. It's a strange set of sort of freedom. This uncertainty, uh, if I could only quite my mind long enough to listen for that whisper of fate guiding me towards next get adventure in love. So, I'll just say I want to go to nightclub in ABD tonight and rock it so you see now it has just taken over there and i met that pretty lady who also seems at loss sitting alone let's see there you go. see the universe so let me show you what really it has done here the universe sorry the universe must be smiling upon me tonight as you approach the woman with the piercing green eyes you notice she is sitting alone at a small table near the bar nursing her drink and gazing out amazing you see amazing amazing prose and the wordplay and the way it is weaving the story is simply amazing okay now on a different topic let me ask it uh, write a short story on 
कल्पचर कल्पचर फ्रॉम मिडिवल फ्लोरेंस इन इटली लेट्स सी इफ इट डज इट और नॉट देयर यू गो एंड इट हैज करेक्टली आइडेंटिफाइड दैट द ईयर इज 1325 व्हिच इज द ईयर ऑफ मिडिवल टाइम्स बिफोर जस्ट बिफोर रेनेसेंस देयर सो एंड इट हैज इवन गिवन द नेम देयर यू गो 1325 सिटी ऑफ ग्रेंजर सन फिल्टर थ्रू इट अमेजिंग एंड नेम इज जीवानी सो इट्स एन इटालियन नेम you look um, you can already appreciate the smartness of this and your statue and pisano me facet how good is that pisano made me amazing amazing and i know i think that pisano is one, was one of the sculpt, uh, very famous sculpture from uh, florence at that time anyway so amazing model love it i mean i think amazing one this will be one more addition to my story writing repertoire I will drop the link to this model in video description. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.